Hi everyone, thanks for being here with me today for one more video. And today we have a different technique. It's gonna be a painting and a funnel. Uh, now we're gonna do uh, the base, but you don't need to spread just that other one for the whole thing, it's just in the middle. Now we're gonna grab a funnel and we're gonna start dipping, uh, dropping the painting little by little. You can choose your colors, but what I'm using, I decide to start from the electric blue, from the um, Tabulosa, a pinky, hot pink from Tabulosa and the green, pearl green, from Tavalosa. Then, of course, I put a little bit of gold from Arteza, uh, Brilliant Blue from Arteza. Oh, that's a purple. So white, Titanium White from Basic. And uh, Magenta from Arteza. A little bit of green from Art Artist Loft, Titanic White again. And then you're gonna do like that until the funnel get full, or you think it's enough painting. I'm not sure when I drip if it's gonna be enough, but if it don't, you just make another one and put in different uh, spot. Almost done with my purple. I always like to, after the very dark color, I put a little bit of white in, in the middle or between those dark colors or right after the dark color, I put a little bit of white. Gold. It's almost full, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough, but then we'll see. Always can fix it. And it's just an experiment, so we learn from that. Now we're gonna slide the funnel very gently on the canva and make whatever you want to make like whatever design you make see it's already empty and i'm gonna put more there we go i still have color so we're good we are good Yeah, the, I don't know if you guys see, but the last canva I did was the uh, those color Tavolosa, and uh, I like I like it. It's very bright. The colors are very um, good. Um, when they when the canva dry, looks really good. So I will buy more. But those sets uh, come with fourteen. Uh, different colors. Oh, I didn't try the other ones. So just those three and it's a uh, kind of left over from the last canva That I want to use it because I don't want to put in a bottle Just a little bit. I need to make a, a new batch for Those colors and put a little float throw and if I need a little bit of water. I don't use um, Silicone I don't like it and I'm kind of scared about silicone, but 
I only use all my bases are color, acrylic color, full throw, and the water. See, so that's a new bag. Here we go. See, already forming cells around, and I, I think it's gonna look really, really good. Can't wait to see that. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, a white, titanium white around so then the colors can slide because if it's dry around, they start to go over and each other and they don't look good. A little bit more here just to complete the part and uh, use the rest of my blue and the pink and green I love those little cups of uh, uh, silicone cups because you can wash it and reuse it. It's awesome. I just don't like the silicone and the painting, but everything that I use for the painting, most of them are silicone. Because you can wash it, you can put it in the dry, you can do whatever you want and it's still good. I wish I can find a bottle, a silicone bottle. Maybe I didn't look well. But I will. Amazon, I think it has. It's too much purple, but we'll see. I would like to see more green there, but we'll see. I can see gold, but I don't. I see pink, but I don't see green. Okay, now with the spatula, it's just to break the shape of circle. Because just make it a little marks like that. See, when you spread, it looks better. Now, just a little bit movement. And we'll see if I don't drop all the color out of my canva. Oh, I see a lot, of, a lot of gold. Now I see gold, but I still don't see a lot of green. Oops. Oh, lots of cells. That's what I see a lot. You messy. I really don't like too much the white, the empty spots that form in the middle and uh, on the sides. Maybe I can fix it with something, but I don't want to drop my paint. Waste all the colors. I like the top part with the pink and gold. Oh, I see a lots of green on the gold part on the side. But in the middle, the purple, it's more visible. We'll torch a little bit to pop the bubbles that are forming at the acrylic painting. Oh my gosh, look at all the cells. That's awesome. I'm not a fan of purple, but this, I think, looks good. I thought the blue was gonna be more visible. Okay, so because I don't see a lot of green, 
and the idea is green, I found a little, it's a sand, uh, was sand with glitter. Um, <clears throat> so it's very shine and it's green. It's like an aquamarine green. And today I kind of dream about make a geode and uh, yeah, so my dreams come true. So it's gonna look more like a geode style. Yeah, I'm just gonna put on the top of the, the white <clears throat> on the corner and on the top of the next spot was white. I don't like it, but with green looks way better. And shiny. And that's gonna change all the information about this Canva. And there's a lot of information here. Just try to not drop any of those glitter on the top of the purple. But covering the white is, I think was a brilliant idea. Looks way better like that. Kinda of difficult to cover those little lines right beside the purple because I don't want to drop it. At the same time, I'm afraid to touch it with the wet paint with my hands or arms. Hopefully when they dry, they, the white, the titan white, it doesn't cover my glitter. And it, well, if that happened, it's just, I'm just gonna do that again. Because at the same time, uh, after everything's done and dry, I'm gonna resin. So then I can, if the titanium uh, white cover a little bit, I'm gonna redo that part and on the top of uh, resin so then it's gonna get stick stuck and not gonna go anywhere it's just to cover the white part that i didn't like it but if you like him you don't need to put the glitter in there Actually, it's not a glitter. It's, I don't know the name. I bought it in my coast. It looks like a sand or a little, little pieces. It's not a glass, it's not plastic. It's kind of sand. Yeah, I assume that it's sand. And uh, 
with the the very light uh, green, almost blue, but it's very light green and shiny. And it's awesome for like uh, projects like that. Or to put, when you make uh, the geode, you can put it around the stones or if it's green, it's gonna look awesome. That's what happened. I start to uh, make one thing and I already start to think another, so after, uh, about another thing. So I didn't finish that one and I start to think about the next project. Sounds crazy. Yeah, like I said, the sand slide a little bit on the top of the purple, and I'm trying to clean up, bring that more to the middle. has to clean the spatula every time that you touch the combo. So for me, that's why, why the art is about because at the beginning, I didn't thought about doing this. And uh, I wasn't like about the purple. But then after I see the cells that was forming on the sides and the gold, and I thought about to put the, the green um, sand that, Everything transformed, everything got new and changed the whole composition. So I like the way that it is now than before it was just paint. That brings more emotion and more, I don't know, effect. You can tell that's a lot going on on this canvas. Now, we have cells, we have colors, we have uh, glitter, we have uh, spaces between each other that like, I love it. The way the gold comes around the, the white and then the pink looks so good. It's like you, draw. I'd like to see what you think about this paint. Um, you guys can um, tell me what's your opinion about that canvas. If you guys like it, if you want to do the same thing, or if you what you you change if you're gonna make it it's all about the time that you're doing you know your mind start to have ideas about how you're gonna finish the project Corners are very important. You have to 
be careful. Don't leave any empty space on the corners. So when the paint drop like that, they cover the, the, the corners, but you have to check if the white part or something empty, you have to cover. And you can take it from the, the bottom of the, the, the painting. I always use it, put my fingers on the, the paint that drop it and just complete the, the spots that are uh, empty on the sides. That works. Where I'm gonna put more glitter. I have to be careful, don't touch my fingers at the, the wet painting. It's gonna be a disaster. There we go. Yeah, definitely. The glitter change the whole composition and I like it because I want to see green but I really love the painting if you guys like it leave your comment below like and subscribe please because that helps a lot the channel and touch the bell to see the next video don't miss it thanks for watching and have a great night Happy painting. Bye-bye.